Charles Sobrage is quite famous for two things, deception and jailbreaks. The modus operandi followed by Charles Sobrage in jailbreaks is pretty intriguing. During the Tihar jailbreak in 1986, he smuggled drugs inside the prison and mixed them in sweets. He then distributed the sweets to the security guards at the gate saying that it was his birthday. The guards, unaware of his intentions, fell unconscious and he walked out of the central jail without any hassles. Although he was captured by the authorities later, it was all considered to be a part of Sobraj's scheme of things. Sobraj was a wanted man in Thailand where prosecutors had been successful in accumulating hard evidence against him. He was guaranteed of death penalty if tried in a court in Thailand. Therefore, he extended his jail term in India by first escaping and then ensuring his recapture. This way he avoided his extradition to Thailand and the consequent jail term and death penalty. Charles in an interview has said that he never kills good people, rather it's the society of all the evil. The psychology behind Sobraj's crimes is this, he believes that he is cleaning the society and considers himself as a higher moral authority to do so. Those who are privy to Charles Saib as he is called in his close circles, say that it wasn't difficult for Sobraj to entice tourists and backpackers with his charm and then kill them. Charles Sobraj is also an expert in gems and psychology. He uses a technique in which he breaks people down into several types for spotting a flaw in their character and reshaping that person to a blueprint of his own wicked ambitions. Charles Sobraj owns vast amounts of money in his foreign bank accounts thanks to the various offers he received from biographers and production houses after his miraculous escape in 1986 from the Tihar jail. He is nicknamed the Splitting Killer and the Serpent because of his skills in deception and evasion. After he was released in India after serving his prison term, Charles Sobraj went to Paris as a celebrity. From there he moved to Nepal where he was arrested and jailed to life imprisonment. But bad habits cultivated over time are hard to leave and Sobraj was once again busted for trying to plan a jailbreak. He was caught inside the jail trying to move some drugs inside the nip of a ballpoint pen. He is still considered to be the most notorious conman of Asia and this first-hand narration of the man by a prison visitor rapidly sums up the aura of Sobraj. I was talking to the ward superintendent in his office when Sobraj walked in as if he owned the place. The officer immediately stood up and offered his chair to Charles Saib, 